All right, hello everybody. This is the version two of the game that I made. Um, I kind of super glued this potentiometer onto the breadboard and super glued some of the wires and connections um, on so it's all nice and sturdy and I super glued this battery pack to the back of the breadboard so it's all one solid piece and you can actually play and not worry about you know pulling a wire out or something. So here let me turn this on and we'll go through the game so basic instructions reach a score of 500 and you'll win okay let's win so level one so these objects fall from the sky and you have to shoot them and um, on the top left corner of the screen it keeps track of the score and here let me zoom in so you can see it, this a lot better Level two, all right. And um, every thousand cycles, you go up a level and things speed up. So if if you're not really fast, you know you're taking your time to shoot at objects, you have a lower score, so it'll take you longer time to reach level 500. So that's not good. So you wanna try to shoot these things as fast as possible so you don't reach those high levels because objects fall a lot faster so see level uh, was it three I'm on now um, things are falling a little bit faster so I have these squares and a triangle and they're really speeding down pretty quickly All right, level four, this is where things speed up even faster. See that triangle is whizzing by. All right, we're a score 95, 98, 99, and 100. It's actually pretty fun, I'm enjoying the game. All right, level five. Now here, things are even moving even faster. And you see even the circle. I got the circle over here and the triangle. So a triangle and a circle are falling at a faster rate than everything else. And the squares are kind of falling. I can you kind of cheat and just swipe it all across. Level six, wow, that's even faster. And uh, comment, or you know, if you have any ideas on what I should make, or if you have any ideas to improve this game, uh, comment them below, and I'll really look through and try to see. Maybe some of that stuff is like you know something realistic that I can make, uh, because I can program okay. I'm not a pro I'm not an awesome programmer or anything. I've taken a college in class, I mean, I've taken a class in college, just a basic programming class, but um, I don't know, I don't know a lot, I'm not an expert, but if you have any ideas on just different things I can do in the game, maybe I can uh, make it to where the levels are, there's a higher time increment between them, and um, so like instead of go into 500 to win you you only go to like maybe you know 100 and you'll win or something just to make it a little bit easier that way it'll be more fun because you want the game to be challenging but you don't want it to be super hard to where you you're intimidated to play because it kind of makes you feel you know not very accomplished all right here it is i'm almost at almost almost at 500 sorry i can't really talk Ah, ooh, that was close. Boom, I won. And that's it. That's how the game goes. And here, I'll show you the code right quick so you can see how it's all programmed. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so <clears throat> here's the code. 
This is a version two of it. And so you'll need these four libraries here. Then I have some variables. I have tons of notes in here. So you can kind of see what's going on. In a setup, here are the objects. And um, it uh, there's a random function here. It picks a random number between negative 2 and positive 123 and places it on, on a screen. Um, so every time on the boot up of the Arduino, um, there's a random positioning in of the objects. Then in the beginning, you get that little welcome screen, kind of tells you how to play. It says, reach the score of 500 and you'll win. There was two lines. Um, their text size of one, it's white. Um, and then it holds it on a screen for five seconds and then it clears it off. And then it uh, puts, puts on a screen level one for one and a half seconds and then clears the screen and then the actual game begins. Uh, this here, it fills the screen black. So starting at zero, zero to the, so zero, zero is right here to the 128 over here and then down to 32. So this whole screen is turns black. And then um, the map function, the I variable is from the, it reads the digital, I mean, sorry, yeah, no. I function here, it reads the analog zero, it's with the potentiometer. So potentiometer is, is read between zero, 123 and 1023. But this maps it out to negative one to one twenty nine. This is this basically the width of the screen. So so this is the positions where uh, the battleship at the bottom can go it, between these. So whenever the potentiometer is turned all the way to the right, it's one twenty nine. If it's turned all the way to the left, it's negative one. And I have few function here. So win, a game over, and then levels. And I'll go over those here in a second. Then over here, um, just like my previous video on my on a different channel, um, you could, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to that. Um, this counts, this adds a Y variable to each of the objects, so object 1, object 2, object 3, and after it reaches to a certain level, object 4 begins to count, and then after that, object 5 over here, and then where both of them gets counted twice. So that's why as you progress in levels, um, the triangle and the circle drop down faster because they're dropping at a three times the rate of the squares. Now, if a button is pressed and the object happens to be between where each of the squares are, so here are the triangle, circle, and the three squares. Here's the third one. If, if you press the button and the starship is between those, it counts it as a hit. So just like you, you shot the square, you shot the object. So it um, it resets it, it it gives it a random X variable, and then it makes the variable uh, for Y negative, so it's above the screen, so you don't see it at first until it starts to descend. And then hit plus plus, this is where it adds one to the score. And this is the same for all of these. Um, then over here, let's see, this right here uh, displays the score. So it puts it on the top left corner with this text size of one and then variable of hit. So as its hit increases, uh, the score increases. Now these here are the actual objects. So these variables change as they increase or get, get reset. So this is the three uh, squares right here, square one, square two, square three, whenever they fall, these numbers change and then this one's a circle so this is the the function for the circle so it fills circle uh, the x variable y variable and then the radius of a circle is four so i can make your circles bigger or smaller and the color of the circle black is inverted and white is um, colored in and then here's the variables for the triangle and then this triangle here is my ship that i shoot with so it's always going to be on the same Y level. So it's, it's 25 pixels down and it's not going up and down. You just go inside the side. So I'm only changing the X variable. This is where the I is. If you remember over here, 
on the potentiometer, the I is between negative 1 and 128. And that is where uh, this I is here. This is where the bounds for that negative 1 and 128. And it's always going to be in the same Y plane. Alrighty, and then full count, it adds a count to the full count, it adds a count to the, um, the falling speed. And then levels, uh, if you remember the functions over here that I have, uh, when, game over, and levels, first one is levels. That's if the full count reaches a thousand, so this is the loops that the Arduino does. If, if Arduino loops 1,000 times, level 2 starts, and, it's, and it clears the screen, and then it puts level 2 on the screen for one second, and then it clears the screen again, and it goes back to regular gameplay. And then if the full count reaches 2,000, it clears the screen, puts level 3 on the board, on the screen, and then clears the screen, and then, and then uh, waits a second, and then clears the screen again. I'm sorry, I did it backwards. I displays it, and then holds it there for a second, clears the screen, and then game resumes. And then whenever counters reach 3,000, level 4, whenever you reach 4,000, level 5, and then 5,000 for level 6. And it clears the screen and it goes back. Now the win function, this is when hit variable, this is the, the score, is greater or equal to 500. So once um, you reach the score of 500 or back it if you shoot two shifts at once and you get a score of 501 um, or two or three, whatever the score is, it uh, clears the screen, makes it black, and then it holds there for half a second. Then it displays you win with the x coordinate of 5, y coordinate of 9, so kind of pretty much the middle of the screen because letters are so big. And then it holds there for half a second, clears it out, puts you in on the screen for half a second, then clears it out, and then half a second, and then holds it there. And then it resets all the y variables and resets the score, and it resets the speed. So it puts everything to zero and makes these negative because they're above the screen and you can't see them, and they start falling down. Now, on the game over function, if this is y1, so this is object 1, y2, object 2, object 3, object 4, object 5. So there's five objects, three squares, a circle, and a triangle. If any one of these objects, their y value is 32, which is the um, the distance of the, the height of the screen, if any of those objects reach the bottom of the screen, which means that their height is 32, the screen will go black. Stay there for half a second, then it's going to say game over. It's going to stay like that for half a second, and it's going to go black again for half a second, and then it's going to say game over for half a second. So basically, we'll flash game over three times. And then it's going to reset the Y variables for all these variables. It's going to reset the score, and it's going to reset the speed. And that's it. Hope you liked it. Let me know what you think.